Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone who were well, peace, love, salutation to the first fruit, elect 144, sincere Aki, and preaching this word out with all truth and sincerity, and to the few Akwath who subscribe. Shalom. Uh, when I get into the next word, uh, word, it's the word of the day. And it's going to start with the letter F, and it's going to be fundamentals, all right, or fundamental. Uh, and I'm going to read the definition of it real quick. Uh, the definition of fundamental, primary, original, pertaining to a foundation, okay? So um, I'm going to get a quick um, example, carnally, and I'm going to get... Um, a scripture to back that up. Why I'm coming? Why I'm coming carnally? This is a uh, First Corinthians chapter three, verse one. And and I, brethren, could not speak unto you <clears throat> as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Hamashiach Yahusha. So pretty much, I'm giving you example that you know you could find in the world, and you could just change it. And I'm gonna make it uh, incorporated to make it uh, spiritual, you know what I'm saying? So uh, people can understand better. Uh, for those who, you know, don't have the full, you know, don't have as much understanding as another. Just trying to, you know, edify to the best of my abilities through the spirit and power of your Alabash and Yahusha. So, an example of fundamentals is. I always think, when I would think of the word fundamentals, I always think of the uh, San Antonio Spurs, okay? Tim Duncan, David Robinson, Tony Parker, Monty Ginobili, yeah, Kawhi Leonard. Um, all these players stick to the stick to the fundamentals, even when Robert Ory played before him as well. Um, that's why they've won five championships, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, every time when it's crunch time, you still see Tim Duncan using the backboard. <laughs> Fundamentals. Uh, basic moves. Uh, they're not flashy. No alley -oop. I mean, they do do alley-oops, but it's not like some LeBron James, Lob City, and uh, uh, L.A. Clippers. You know, nothing flashy. It's just a layup, a regular jump shot, pass the ball three or four times before shooting, using the entire shot clock, run the offense, using the backboard, rebound with both hands, keep the ball high. They stick to the fundamentals, hence why they're so rooted and strong as a team. Therefore, they win. So put incorporating that and in, in this sense, <clears throat> when all hell breaks loose, we have to go back to our fundamentals. And actually, in all actuality, the fundamentals are going to kick in anyway from uh, what we've read during our time of liberty. Okay? Well, we're going to all hell broke loose. Okay? You may get caught up. You know what I'm saying? Or you may be on the road walking for days in on out. You know what I'm saying? Fundamentals are going to kick in. Say you're in that situation where you're walking, just going. You know, keep it, just keeping it moving. You know what I'm saying? Because the spirit has you moving. You know what I'm saying? And not staying still. Think about, we're probably going to think about what happened in the, you know, uh, with the children of Israel when we left Egypt. You know, kept it moving. You know what I'm saying? And, it's just basic fundamental things are going to start, you know, kicking back in. You know what I'm saying? What we can eat, what not to eat. You know, in that day, we're not going to have the luxury of ordering a steak or anything of that nature. Or going to the store and buying some chicken and, and then cooking it. You may, you may not have anything to eat. You know what I'm saying? But you, guess what? A locust or something might fly by, whatever. And you might, and then the basics pop up. Leviticus, the 11th chapter. Oh, hold on. I can eat certain, you know, insects that are lawful. 
and that would may be uh, uh, sustain you until the missiles come and Lord willing you get called up because you stuck to your fundamentals. Another thing, you get caught up, Esau grabs you up, puts you in concentration camp, whatever, torture, whatever you want to call it. What's going to kick in? The fundamentals, right? The prayers you've been learning. The praises you've been learning. You know what I'm saying? The Hebrew you've been learning. Calling on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's fundamentals, man. That's the basics. First, because when you first get into this, you learn his name. That's like the first thing you learn. The name. Because that's what's going to save you. That's fundamentals. All right? And I'm going to go ahead and get a quick scripture. This is Colossians, the second chapter. I'm going to start at verse 6. As ye have therefore received uh, Hamashiach Yahawashai, the Lord, so walk ye in him. Okay? Rooted and built up in him. So you got to be rooted. So I'm going to get another word. Um, it's a word um, grounding okay which means action of establishing so you're established you're set when you're rooted you're, you're, you're in it it's like a tree it, it grows but it has deep roots so no regular old rooty poo wind is going to knock it over it's deeply rooted okay so you must go back to the fundamentals which helps you stay grounded in this truth. <clears throat> and, and what helps you stay grounded? To be built up in Yahweh Shai. And ultimately this too. And back in Revelation, the third chapter and the 20th verse. All right. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. So he's, he's knocking. He's knocking. Okay. If any man hear my voice and open the door. So you got to be welcoming pretty much, you know what I'm saying? And you got to, um, the Most High gives the increase, so he's going to wake you up. And so you're going to hear that knock. You're going to open the door and be like, who is it? Because ultimately the sheep are going to hear his voice, okay? His sheep are going to hear his voice and open the door. I will come into, <clears throat> I will come into him and will sup with him and and he with me, okay? And that's how you begin to be rooted in Yahweh Shai, okay? So verse 7 again, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith. There goes that word established. And um, I'm going to pull up the blue letter and I'm just going to get that just for edification purposes real quick. Colossians 2 and 7, all right? The word established. Uh, Strong's G 950. Bebayao. 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 And that means to make firm, establish, confirm, make sure. All right? So make sure you're rooted in Yahweh Shai. So it says, rooted and built up in Him. And when you, you know, when brothers in the camp, some, you know, higher, up, you know, brothers in, in the spirit, they're going to try to build up the younger brothers so we can be rooted for the next wave and the next wave. Because there's how things are going right now. There's going to be waves, waves of men coming on to hold that skirt. All right. Because we're going to have to bring up because we're going to have to bring up men because Things are coming to pass and they're starting to see that, oh, this is real. All right. So rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught, taught, okay, because you have to be taught this, um, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain dece deceit. So you have to be rooted and established in, in um and well taught. So when something does come up, a philosophy or someone's talking mess or something sounds believable, but you gotta go through the scriptures and prove, you know, prove it otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you gotta be rooted and deeply, and deeply firm. And that goes back to uh, 
of having good fundamentals, all right? Because you have to get the basics first. And the word basics means the rudiments or fundamentals of, of, of anything, okay? So it's like the, the, the start, it's the basics, okay? <clears throat> Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain descent, deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments, that word again, rudiments of the world, and not after Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right. Uh, and I wanted to get, um, let's see if I can tie in another scripture to this. Um, bear, bear with me. Okay, so this is, I'm going to get some scriptures that just go back to fundamentals. You go back to what you know, the bread and butter, okay? Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So fear the Most High is a fundamental because, like it says in Proverbs, all right, Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, okay? So, the fear of the Lord is what's going to get you this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? And it says, fear the Most High and keep His commandments. That's, uh, that's basics. That's fundamentals. The commandments are, are, are a statute, a guideline. And those are the fundamentals, okay? Follow the laws. What does it say in 2 John, the sixth verse? And this is love, to keep the commandments. So if you love Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, you'll try to keep the commandments the best of your ability. I say the best of your ability because we're still in captivity. This is not our kingdom. So we're going to go off. Our, our righteousness is as filthy rags, like it says in Isaiah, the 64th chapter. All right, and here's a. I'm gonna get another quick precept. It says, uh, Sirach chapter one, uh, verse one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, All wisdom cometh from the Most High, or all, all wisdom cometh from Yahweh and is with Him forever. Okay, so you, you gotta fear to get that wisdom, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, get another scripture. I might as well just get bring out Second John because that's another like a basic. That's a basic scripture. You know what I'm saying? These are basic scriptures that I'm pulling out. These are fun, fundamentals. All right. This is uh, Second John the uh, sixth verse, and this is love that we walk after His commandments. This is the commandment that. He, as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. So from the very start, he gave us the guideline, the basics, the fundamentals on how to live and how to live justly. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get, I'm probably going to end it off with um, the words of Yahweh Shai. I'm going to get Matthew. Um, I, I wrote down Matthew, the 19th chapter. All right. All right, and and Yahweh Shai always went back to the back to the basics, man. And it's like you can't you can't fight that. So uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll start at verse one, Matthew nineteen and one. And it came to pass that when Yahweh Shai had finished uh, these sayings, he departed from Galilee and came into the coasts of Judea. Beyond, uh, beyond Jordan and a great multitude and great multitudes followed him and he healed them there the Pharisees also came unto him tempting him and saying unto him is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every for every cause and he answered and said unto them listen to what he said have ye not read basics 
fundamentals right there in that first, the first few words he said. Have ye not read? You should be reading so you can be uh, Colossians, the second chapter, verse 7. So you can be rooted and built in Yahweh Shai. All right. Built up in Yahweh Shai. Okay. So have ye not read that which made them at the beginning made them male and female? Where is he referring to? The book of Genesis. The book of Genesis, if I'm not mistaken, chapter 1, uh, you can say chapter 1, verse 26 is when he made man and female. Okay? And, and verse 5, and said, For this cause shall a man uh, leave <clears throat> shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and and they twine uh, and they twine shall be one flesh all right so we went all the way back to Genesis uh, in verse in verse 4 he went back to Genesis 1 and 26 I think if I'm not mistaken and then he went in the next verse he went back to Genesis the second chapter uh, I think it's Genesis like 2 and 24 okay where he where it tells you that the man and woman should become one flesh yeah how wish I went back to the basics the fundamentals on these Pharisees and scribes man trying to come up to him and, and he said hey, what you ain't reading or something man like, what's wrong with you it's right here go read it have you not read you claim that you follow all these things but it seems to me that you ain't reading and that's fundamentals right there. What you doing on your leisure time? All right. Let me go to. Uh, and it's probably going to be the last scripture. Um, before I shut it on down. Uh, Matthew 5. All right. Matthew 5 and 17. It says, Think not that I come to destroy the law. Or the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So he's here to fulfill everything that we've been reading. All right. And the law, the basics, the fundamentals. He's not come to destroy that. The prophets. So we know what's coming. Those are basics, fundamentals. So we know what to do in those days. He's not come to destroy that. He's come to fulfill it. Okay. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one <clears throat> one jot or one little or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled okay and that gives you another indication that the law is not done away with so you always have to stick to your your um your fundamentals verse 19 whosoever therefore shall break one of these le uh, least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So there you have it, man. The words of Yahweh Shai right there is pretty clear cut. You know what I'm saying? So the word of the day today was fundamentals. The scriptures I used today with Colossians, the, the second chapter start at verse 6. Uh, Matthew the fifth chapter start at verse 17 Matthew the 19th chapter start at verse 1 um, I got a few out of the book of Proverbs and you can get the precepts going back you can rewind the video and you know when your house child is talking about have you not read you go back to Genesis the first chapter and Genesis the second chapter to see what he was referring to and when he was going back to the fundamentals to the basics because he was rooted and grounded in this truth all right, he, Yahweh Shai is the best example, the best example of how to be, man. All right, so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, love, salutations to the elect 144, first fruit. Uh, and as I say always, and I will always say it, because the men of the Lord, Lord willing, I'm one, were repetitive, just like Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is repetitive in these scriptures. And I'm going to say it again. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. And stay strong. Stay in the faith. All hell's about to break loose. Be rooted and grounded, man. This is not the time to fall out. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. If you have any type of problem or any doubt, pray. Fast.
go link up with the brethren, ask questions. If you're if you're a sincere sister and you're with a, 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 a sincere brother, ask him questions to to get that comfort because he left us the comforter. But keep pushing, keep fighting. Shalom.